Good afternoon, committee. Uh, my name is Chris Sawa. I'm from Eunice, where uh, Philip is from. Excuse my voice. This Welcome to the committee, sir. Thank you so much. It's my normal voice. So, uh, my story is this I, I've been on the board for 16 years. Um, 16 years, trials and tribulations of hurricanes and everything else. We've made it through. We've uh, we sh we gained gained support from our community over the last 20 weeks now. First first uh, closure, 10 weeks. The first two two or three weeks of it, I, I was terrified. I, I like you guys. I had no idea what was going on with COVID 19 or how it would affect my business. Um, as of now. We just got to reopen because our our numbers met the criteria to reopen. Well, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, 25% can't pay my bills. Can't. I mean, 25% uh, occupancy is literally telling you, sir, you can pay. You only gonna make 25% of your paycheck. And oh, by the way, your paycheck, they're not gonna give you 25% of your bills deduction. I mean, just a, just a small story for you, uh, CARES Act. Let me get my mortgage handled for five months. The minute we can reopen, actually the, the week before it can reopen, my bank, which has worked with me pretty pretty fairly, told me it wasn't their obligation to take care of my note anymore. But I can't pay my bill because I'm not open. I mean, so we get to reopen and 25% occupancy in a bar the size of mine, which is 1,300 square feet, which is local farmers coming after work to have a beer with their friends. It's tailgating actually in a bar. Exactly what everybody does on a weekend with their friends. I mean, if I can have my normal occupancy of 50 people right now, it's, it's pretty almost too late right now because he ruined me. I mean, this COVID-19 ruined my business. I'm the guy in the community when a school needs help for this, they come ask me. I'm the guy in the community that can donate money, but now I'm the guy in the community that has to say, no, I can't give you anything because I can't even pay my child support for my kid to come visit with me. I'm emotional right now because I'm losing everything I had and worked for because unfair practices. You can go to Walmart, touch everything on the shelf, but you can't come into my board and play pool. You can't come on my board and play darts. That is a revenue generator that keeps the lights on for me. But I can't do it right now. I, I'm, I'm, and then you got ATC coming mm. at 11 o'clock to make sure you're shutting your doors. But oh, by the way, I don't know how many people actually in, in, in my age group want to go to a bar from 12 o'clock at noon and then have to leave by 11. I mean, LSU football plays. Okay, guys, halftime, sorry, but it's 11 o'clock. Y'all can't be here anymore. That's horrible. I mean, I, it's not just me. It's people just like me all the way across the state that don't think it's fair that the governor's orders are directly hurting people just like me. But you can go do a party at somebody's house, and that's okay. The same exact people in the town of 13,000 that, oh, by the way, I haven't heard one person in the last two months that has COVID-19 or coronavirus or whatever it is. But these are the same people that come to my board that can't can't come to my board and have a drink. But the restrictions also do this. Sorry, sir, you only spend $3 every hour. You can't be in here because I got a customer coming that's gonna spend 100. How do you do that? That's not proper business practice. I mean, but how do you pay your bills like I'm asking you guys? I mean, it's, it's rough, it's very rough and the extent that it's taken on my business, it's going to take me, I don't even know when I'll be able to come out of this because all the good holidays coming up right now that my little board makes money because the college students coming home to visit mom and dad that are 21, 22, that come home for the weekend and spends mom and dad's money can't come to my bar right now. You know, I, I'm, I'm capable of open, but oh, you went from $6,000, $7,000 revenue a week down to 1500 it's rough, it's very rough. And it's not fair because they can't sit at my bar to drink. When you go in a restaurant, you can eat food at a bar right next to the same person. Makes no sense, guys. And like I said, I'm getting